Hi everyone, Michael here. Today we're going to look at the five best Google Chrome AI extensions available for you today. They can help you do things like write and reply to emails, they help you alongside Google searches, and they can even summarize YouTube videos just like this one. Please stick around though, I want to show them to you. Unfortunately, Google doesn't have any of this functionality baked into their own consumer products yet, unlike say Microsoft's Edge. However, there are still a lot of third-party extensions that have been developed that can bring about great functionality available to you today. Let's go check these out. To kick things off, I'm going to show you the ChatGPT for Google extension. To get that, we are going to head to the Chrome Web Store and search for it. Additionally, you can find it below in the description as well as in the card up in the top right. I will add that to Chrome, add the extension, and get this going. Once we have the ChatGPT for Google extension installed, we can begin searching immediately. No other steps are required. I am going to search for how do I make chocolate chip cookies? If you're like me, you're probably used to getting here and seeing all the blue links, feeling a little bit overwhelmed by all the possible content I could digest, no pun intended. I noticed though that ChatGPT over here on the right is starting to really spin up its magic in this search experience. It's not only giving me all of the ingredients, but the instructions on how to bake these cookies. This is going to save me a lot of time in the future, and this is what I hope to see from all future searches when I'm looking for something very specific. The second extension for Chrome I'd like to highlight today is called WebChat GPT. To access that, go up to your extensions and click on the WebChat GPT icon. This will actually take us directly to ChatGPT. While ChatGPT is very useful and powerful, it is a bit limited in that it doesn't have any reference points after the year 2021. This is where WebChatGPT's extension comes in. It allows us to reference the internet and current events. So for example, if I were to type in, what is the Kevin Cookie Company today? It would not really have any answers for me. However, if I turn on this toggle called Web Access, which allows us to reference current events, I would actually get an answer from ChatGPT that would summarize what it is. And here we see a very good summary of the Kevin Cookie Company based on recent information that's available online. This is based off of three web results down here. We can increase that all the way up to 10. You can set it for different time ranges and you can limit it to specific regions as well. Our third helpful extension is called ChatGPT Writer. It can help you compose and reply to emails. I'll show you how it works right now. I see an email request from someone at my company. Her name is Patty Fernandez. I'm going to take a look at this. Oh, she asks if I can take a meeting for her at 5 a.m. I've worked a lot this week and I don't particularly want to do this. I'm going to use ChatGPT Writer to reply. There's a little icon here at the bottom with a lightning bolt in it. This is the ChatGPT Writer icon. I will click on that. Here you can see the email context is auto filled in so the ChatGPT extension will know what it's referencing. I'm gonna ask it to write a witty email saying that I'm unable to make this time, then I'll click generate reply. And there it is, ChatGPT Writer has created a witty response to Patty. Obviously you wanna do a quick review of it yourself before hitting the insert generated response button. Once you've done that, you can send it off. It's important to note that ChatGPT Writer has the best functionality within Gmail, but you can use it anywhere else that you'd like to. It just doesn't have the nice insert functionality. If you'd like to use it outside of Gmail, come up to the top right, click on extensions, which looks like the puzzle piece, and click on the ChatGPT Writer icon, and it will bring up the prompt for you to use on any site you'd like. Our fourth extension is the YouTube Summary with ChatGPT. It is one of the most powerful. If you have the attention span of a hummingbird and can't stomach a two minute video, you're in luck. By clicking on this button here, you will be provided with the entire transcript as well as the ability to summarize the contents of the video. We will click on this View AI Summary button. This will open up ChatGPT where it will say summarize the following at the bottom of the screen. If I hit enter, it will summarize the entire video for me so I don't have to bother listening to Balmer talk about how the iPhone isn't going to be as impactful as he thinks it is. Our fifth and final Chrome extension that uses AI 
is the Tactic Meeting Transcript extension. I would have loved something like this when I was back in the office days and we were always asked, is there a note taker available in this meeting? What this does is right over here on the right side, it transcribes everything that went on in the meeting. After it's done, you can go down to the bottom right and click the open the transcript button. This will bring up everything that was discussed in the meeting, and you can also use it to generate an AI summary of what was talked about. The summary that's generated by ChatGPT is actually really on the money, and I'm very happy with it. You can also use it to generate your next meeting agenda and also action items for follow-ups. And there you have it, five great Chrome extensions leveraging AI that help make your job easy and hopefully not redundant. Just kidding. Anyway, please leave below in the comments your favorite AI extensions and also consider subscribing to this channel. We'll see you again soon.